Speaking of retail, Kroger announcing today it will give hourly frontline workers a one-time thank you pay amounting to a few hundred dollars for their service per person. This as the grocer prepares to end its $2 an hour hero pay bonus for employees. Mark Perone is the head of the United Food and Commercial Workers International Union. He joins us now. Mark, nice to see you again. So, so we did get this news today that the Kroger workers are going to get a bonus pay. In general, how are your union members that work for Kroger feeling about their pay right now? I, I think they're very disappointed, quite honestly, about the, the hero pay being taken away and it being turned into a bonus, uh, primarily because it's going to affect uh, their weekly pay uh, and they're not going to have as much in their, in their pockets. Uh, look, the pandemic still exists. People are still wearing masks in the stores. They're still social distancing. Uh, and even though there may be some indications that a vaccine is on the way, uh, we haven't seen it as of yet. And this, this virus is, in fact, unless a vaccine comes forward, uh, is going to be around this fall. And, and our members, uh, quite frankly, are having to go out there every single day and put themselves at risk. Now, every investor that I know of knows that the more risk they take, the higher pay they get. Uh, the, the more risk they take, they should get more pay. Uh, and these workers are taking more risk, and they should be paid more. Not to single out Kroger specifically, Mark, what about other grocery stores and, and other major retailers that are employing essential mm -hmm. workers? What have they been doing on the pay front? Well, uh, we've had several of our major employers, uh, our other employers have come forth and maintained that $2 an hour increase. Uh, and they've indicated uh, they're going to reevaluate it every couple of weeks uh, to make a determination of how it ultimately looks. Now, there are other companies, quite honestly, uh, Walmart, uh, you know, Trader Joe's, uh, Whole Foods, uh, they've indicated they're going to pull back and they're going to go to uh, go to bonuses as well. Let's, let's face it, uh, going to a bonus just allows them to shut this off at some point in time when they decide that they want to. Here's what we do know, though. We know that sales are up. Your last guest said that people are not going to be going back to restaurants, and I think that's a fairly uh, accurate uh, you know, view of what's going to happen in retail going forward. We've seen sales go up. We've seen productivity go up. Uh, sales per man hour, uh, and we've started to see a little bit of food inflation as we move forward, which is good for the industry. I think it has changed the, the outcome of what this industry is going to look like uh, on Wall Street going forward in the future, and I think these workers deserve their share. Obviously, it would be nice for the workers to have more pay. What about the safety factor, Mark? Do they feel like their, their employers are taking care of them, providing the necessary masks and equipment so that they can feel safe going to work every day? Well, Sarah, I think that a lot of our employers have, in fact, done the right thing. I still think there's challenges out there. Uh, I've certainly seen them in the stores that I've visited, uh, and I've gone into union and non-union stores alike. Uh, quite frankly, I have been somewhat uh, concerned at the number of people that were not wearing masks or weren't being provided masks uh, in this environment. Uh, it's not, if, if the virus is starting to die down right now, I don't think that this is the concern that I have, at least initially. My concern is, is the virus starts to spike back up in the fall and in the winter, what are we going to do if we have this false sense of security that we don't really need to wear this protective equipment. That's the reason why I'm concerned. Mark Perone, thank you for joining us tonight.